Because as a citizen of this country, we are waiting here to meet Honorable Prime Minister, as Ajay Kumarji already mentioned in his introductory speech, since 10 June till today, we hope that at least 5-10 minutes, Honorable Prime Minister will spare for us. We are not coming here for begging something from the Honorable Prime Minister. Actually, we are not beggar. Though we are coming from a small, tiny, bordering, international bordering state, they may be thought that these people are coming from far places for begging something. That is extremely sorry. As a citizen of this country, what is happening there in Manipur, they should not be treated. This is a small state, tiny state. It should be considered as a national issue, issue of this vast country. If they think that, if they take Manipur is also part of India. You see, since 3rd May, it has already been started, this unfortunate incident. This is due to what I should say, incapable of double engine government in Manipur. For handling of this situation, they openly accept this Mr. Biren Singh, Chief Minister of Manipur, he accept openly in the public this unfortunate incident was happened due to lack of information, due to complete failure of law and order. He openly accept it. And who will take more responsibility? Let the BJP, let the center, Sri Narendra Modi's government, let them decide what kind of appropriate action they will take it. Although is the attitude of the union government, irrespective of any party, I have the opportunity for serving this term of problem, small state of Manipur, 15 years, huge problem in our time also. Burn blockade, indefinite burn blockade is there. But anyhow, we are managing with the help of from time to time, right from the very beginning of let Shri Atol Bihari Baspai Ji. We are managing, we are handling, but this time is more seriously affected due to incapable of handling of this crisis by Shri Biren Singh. He also publicly he accepted. The state government and center, it should be equally responsible what I should say. Because if government of India has a good determination and commitment, it can be controlled very easily within two, three days or latest within one week. Because government of India claim that we are in the superpower. India is entering in the superpower. So Manipur is a geographically a small, tiny state. How many manpower is there? State government alone, state forces, whether Indian Reserve Force, Manipur Police, Manipur Rifle, Village Development Force put together more than 35,000. In addition to that, government of India claimed that, including rapid action force, different kind of forces, they are send, already sending there more than 60,000, 60,000 plus state-owned forces. How much it has been? It may be each and every house of Manipur, it can be deployed. Last one and a half, one and a half months, it has already gone till today. It could not be contained, it cannot be controlled. There is absolutely no normancy yet. Yes, though. 
This is why we are also quite surprising everybody. Everybody will be surprised. Whether they are doing it is intentionally or is there any hidden or secret agenda of the BJP government both at the center and the state? Why they did not appropriate action from action timely? If they have gut, if they have determination, if they have commitment, it can be controlled within two, three days. What we would like to suggest, whether it may be cookie militants under shoe or any illegal or legal arms, simultaneously they should have to be say, within these three days, all arms should be disarmed. Government of India can take this action appropriately without any further delay. If once this is on arm holders, if they disarm, then followed will the peace will be followed and dialogue will be followed. So why they are not doing? Is there any agenda, hidden agenda or secret agenda of the both center and state government? This is this is the question.